Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this is the channel that's all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if you're new to print-on-demand or t-shirt designing or would like to learn some new tips and tricks on how to uh, better use Canva, go ahead and stick around. So in today's video, we're gonna be um, making this design right here. It says, my body, my choice, and it features some sunflowers and a uterus. And as you probably already know, this is a very popular trending niche right now. Um, and I'm sure you know why. So this is an easy design to make. It just uses really just three graphics and some text. And it's, it's real simple, but there's a lot of different ways that you can make variations of this using different graphics, different flowers, different colors. So like I said, everybody can kind of um, create their own version of this design and get it up right now and maybe get some sales. So if you'd like to learn how to do this, go ahead and stick around. So as always, we're going to be starting with our blank backdrop. It is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels because that is the standard uh, t-shirt uh, t-shirt size for merch by Amazon. I am going to be starting with a black backdrop. So I'm just going to click my backdrop here, come up to the left hand corner where it says background color, and I'm going to be selecting black. So this is going to be a pretty simple design. It's going to use just a few graphic elements and some text, um, but it is a very popular niche right now. So it is going to be saying my body, my choice with a, um, with a uterus and some flowers. So pretty simple design, but again, a very common niche right now. I'm sure you know why. So I'm gonna be making a circular design. So actually the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna put a circle on here just to use as a template. I'm not gonna keep the circle for the design, but it's gonna give me a really good idea of how to line my elements up to make them circular. So if I just hit C on my keyboard, it will pull up a circle and that is all I need. And I'm gonna make it bigger, but I'm not gonna make it too big because I wanna make sure that I have room around the edges. And when I'm all done, I can group my image together and then I can resize it or move it around the page however I like. So it's, it's actually a little easier sometimes if you design smaller and get your design all the way you want it and then try to resize it all as one versus trying to get it all in the right spot and the right size to begin with, that can be pretty challenging. So I'm starting with my circle. So now the first thing I'm gonna do is work on my border. So I want to put some flowers around the edge and for this design, I'm gonna go ahead and use sunflowers. So I'm gonna come up here to elements and I have already picked out some I want to use, but I'm just gonna show you if I type in sunflowers, let me do the search this way and I can sort up here by graphics. There's a lot of different sunflower graphics that we can use and a lot of them do kind of give you more of a border shape. Here's some that are already in more of a wreath form. Um, so there's a lot that you can choose from Here's another wreath form. So if you like to do just the full wreath, you can just do it that way and that's fine too. You can always search for flower wreath as well and it'll, it'll show you a lot of different examples of different types of flowers and leaves in, in a wreath form. And so that's another easy one to do as well. So you can kind of come down, decide what style of sunflower you want and, and how much of a curve and, and whatnot, how many leaves you want or if you just want flowers. So there's a lot to work with for this. Like I said, I've already kind of selected what I want ahead of time. So I'm gonna come up here and at the top it says recently used. I'm gonna go to my recently used. So if I click see all, it's gonna show me the ones that I've recently pulled out. Now I've done a couple different styles. So here was one style and then here is another style. This top one here was kind of cool and, but it's hard to see, it actually has a border around it. You can't really see it on the black background, but let's say I was putting this on a white t-shirt and I hit white. Now you can see this really thin border that goes all the way through the design. So initially I had used this and I had simply cropped um, part of it out. So if I double click, I can crop this. So let's say I only wanted to use this top part. I can crop out the rest of it so I just have this top part here and so this is initially what I had done but if you notice it's still giving me that little thin line now on a black shirt or a dark shirt you might not be able to see it but if you were putting it on a light color shirt you would have to get rid of that little line somehow possibly using background removal and and actually erasing it that way 
but I didn't like that. So I went ahead and decided to go a different route and I went with one that didn't already have any kind of border or wreath around it. So I went ahead and went with this one here, which I liked and decided that it would look good sort of as the bottom part of the wreath. And again, so I can line this up. You can see how I can line it up with the circle, angle it however I want to try to give it the circular design. And so I can do something like that. Again, I can angle it however much or little I want. So I like it there. And then I went ahead and just picked one for the top. I was gonna to use this one here. And for this one, I was going to rotate around and shrink this one way down so that I could put it on the top part. So it was gonna be something like this, maybe a little bigger, maybe a little bit more rotated there. So now you can see it's gonna go right around this circle. Now you can play with the placement of these. I'm gonna put some words here around the top edge and some words here around the bottom edge. So I wanna make sure I've got good space for that. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my black backdrop. So I'm selecting black again. And so from here, I'm gonna pull up some text. So I'm just gonna hit T on the keyboard. It's gonna come up with a text box. So you can see right there. I'm gonna go ahead and start by making this text white so that we can see it real easily. And I'm gonna drag this out of the way. Now for this, it's going to say my body. So I'm just gonna type in my body, okay? And then from here, I actually want it to be all caps. So the way I can do that, if I didn't already type it in caps, I can just click the text box and a menu will pop up up here and there'll be a little A and a big A, it says uppercase. I can click, oops, click that and now it's all in uppercase. I'm gonna angle this here. Now I do wanna pick a font for this. I want it to be something that's kind of bold because I, I need it to be um, easily read. So this is be a little too small for me. So I'm just gonna come up here and I'm gonna do a bold search. So again, you can search however you want, depending on what kind of fonts you want. So if I just put in bold, it's gonna pull up a lot of different bold fonts for me. So I can pick through any of these and I can play with them to see what I think looks good. There's one that I'm specifically looking for and that one's here. It says Sergio Trendy. And so I'm gonna go with this one. And I'm gonna pull this out so it's all in one line. And so there it says my body. And then from here, I'm gonna angle it. I'm gonna make it nice and big because I want it to stretch from flower to flower. I'm also gonna have it curve around the circle. So by clicking this, I can come up to effects. I can use the curve effect. And now you can see it's sort of curving around the circle. Now I can go ahead and pull this curve down until I've got it right about there. So now it is wrapped around the circle. I can go a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on how tight I want it to look. And I can play with its placement too, so that it is you know, perfectly centered or however I want. Right now it looks like it needs to be a little bit bigger, unless I pull this in a little bit more. It's about the right size if I keep it real tight and close. So I could do that. Yeah. Something there I think would actually look good. So I might just leave it like that. And so now I wanna pull up another text box because down here I'm gonna put my choice. So again, I can just hit T on the keyboard and it is going to come up now with the same font that I just used. So that's nice and convenient. I don't have to change anything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type in my choice here. There we go. And I'm gonna pull this one down. I'm going to rotate it. So it's kind of at a tangent with the circle. And I'm gonna go ahead and round this one too. So same thing, I'm gonna come up to effects. I'm gonna do curve. This time I want it to curve the other direction. So I'm going to drag this down the opposite way until I have it curved as much as I want. And again, I can make it a nice tight curve somewhere there. I might have to play with the angle of this just a little bit so that I get it lined up the way I want so you can see how I can line that up. Perfect. And so now you see a nice round design that I have going on here. So that looks pretty nice. I actually might 
bring that up a little bit more. I think that looks a little bit better, but you can see how it's coming. Now in the center of this, I'm going to go ahead and put the uterus. But since I no longer need the circle, I'm just going to move it right out of the way. And so now you can see my design here. Now I'm going to go ahead and select a uterus. So again, I'm going to come up to elements and I have recently used some. So I have already picked the one that I want, but just so that I can show you if I type in uterus and again, search by graphics, you can see there's a lot of different styles and then there's a lot of the flower ones. So the flower ones seem to be pretty popular right now on t-shirts but again, lots of different styles that you can use. So you can try to match colors depending on what type of flowers you use. Sometimes you might wanna pick your uterus first and then pick the flowers after. If you wanna pick the flowers first, then you're gonna to wanna to find a uterus that matches or that looks good. So again, you want all of your um, graphics to complement each other, but you can pull down, you can see that there's a lot of different styles of flower ones. I'm going to go to one that I've already selected. So I'm going to come back to recently used, see all. And the one that I selected for this was this simple one right here. The reason being it did not have any bright colors, so it wouldn't clash with the flowers that I did choose. And so there I've got my design, really simple, my body, my choice. If I want the text to match these flowers a little better in terms of color, I can select the text, come over here to text color. I can pick colors that have already been pulled up. So these are colors that are present in the, um, the sunflowers. So if I wanted it to be a bright yellow or more of a dull yellow, maybe the green, I could do it that way. If you don't like any of those, and you wanna pull up maybe the red or the other colors, what you can do is come up to add a new color and you can select colors here, but you can also use this eyedropper feature, which is really convenient. So it says pick color from design. I can click on that and I can hover anywhere I want over the picture. So if I hover over the center uterus and I pick maybe the white flower, I can select the color off of that. So now we can see it's slightly, slightly more peach colored or off white versus the bright white that you see here. So this color is going to match that flower right there and it's going to pull it right here into my document colors. So now I can easily change the color of my body to the same one. So text color and I can use it right here. And so there is my design. It looks really nice. From here now, if I want to group this all together, now I can resize it and move it around in the page however I want. So if I click anywhere outside of the image, hold down and drag over my whole thing, I can now group all of these together. So if I come up here to the right hand corner, it says group, I can hit that. Now all of these images are together in a group, which means I can now move this entire thing around, center it, resize it however I want without worrying about moving any of my design elements. So from here, I can go ahead and do something like that. Now, because this is a circular design, if I wanted to rotate it like that, I could. So I could, if I wanted it to be a little bit more off-centered or at an angle, however I wanted to do this, you can see I could totally play with it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it totally vertical because that is how I wanted it and I'm going to bring it up to the top I'm going to make it fill most of the page here so that looks pretty good there and then I'm just going to go ahead and title my design it's going to just say my body my choice and then I can download it so if I come up here to share I come down to where it says download I'm going to keep it as a PNG. I'm gonna select transparent background so we can put it on any shirt color we want. And I'm going to download and that is all there is to it. It's a pretty simple design in a very trending niche right now. So, and there's a lot of different ways that you can go about doing this using different flowers, different graphics, different texts, different colors. So again, everybody can go and kind of make their own version. And so that is it and I hope you enjoyed this. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.